how's it going guys so right now currently we're about to remove this hot tub right here so the first thing you guys want to do when you're removing the hot tub is you want to verify the power is off so we already went to go ahead and do that you want to go check where the breaker is at how do you know where the, where the uh <clears throat> how do you know where the electrical source is coming from easy just follow the conduit or well, this isn't really a conduit but just follow the electrical line I hope i'm saying it right and and it should follow you to the breaker. So all we all we did was we verified it. We turned it off. It's off. And we also put our own meter in there to make sure um, to make sure there's no voltage going in. So we already went and go ahead and do that. Um, so to verify the power is off. So anyways, guys, the next step you want to do is remove the skirt. This is the skirt. For example, skirts right here behind us. And the next step you want to do is you're going to want to remove all these components right here, the engine, the, I mean the engine, the motor, uh, the module, all this crap. And also too, you want to break as many pipes as you can to make sure that there's no water, any more water inside and all the water's flushed out of the jacuzzi. So anyways, let's get right to it. We're going to show you guys a time lapse of how to remove a hot tub and let's go from there guys. All right. Can you take any deeper now? I gave you all I own Put you on this golden throne But I'm a little stronger now You cast in on my promises You know I'm too generous Now I've learned to never So the last step you want to do guys is before you leave this is this falls down to liability and what you want to do cut it a little bit better what you guys want to do is make sure when you're done with the job and the jacuzzi or hot tub whatever you want to call it, is hauled off and away before you leave. You want to make sure you put electrical tape on your conduits. You don't want these lines touching each other because if someone was to accidentally turn on the breaker for any reason and these lines were to contact each other, you could burn down the house. So what you want to do is when you're done, you want to verify, you want to take a picture. You want to take a picture um, that you did use electrical tape on these lines so you're no way held liable if something was to happen. So tighten these up pretty good. You want to tape up obviously each individual line. So they won't come into contact with each other. That's it. That's it. Let's go.